Julius Caesar starred John Bissell, Daryl Campbell, Raul Soto, Jerry Hansen, Carl Stegman, and Terry Yonkers. Come back into time with us. Back before the birth of Christ and let us visit one of the most remarkable men of the age. The man, Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar was a very great Roman statesman and soldier. He was born a hundred years before Christ. Never had such a man been presented to the world. Such poise. Such intelligence. What an athlete. Caesar had been taking leading role in Roman politics. He wanted to reform the government of Rome, and that he did. In case you hadn't guessed, J.C. were his initials. Now, these initials can stand for many things, such as... But, when mentioned, it brought to mind the name of Julie Baby. Here we first see Julie making a personal appearance on the Roman road. Let's watch. Cool on the 15th. What man is that? The soothsayer says watch it on the 15th. Set him before me. Let me see his face. Hey, guy, look upon Caesar. What was that again? I said cool on the 15th. Oh, he is a dreamer. Let us leave him. Pass. Oh, I bet you want to know who these men are. Well, for those of you who can't read, I shall introduce them to you. Here is Julie Babe, the handsome one. Ah, Cassius, he is the mean one. And this poor soul is Brutus. Don't mind him, he doesn't bite. Now, let's return to the boy. Brutus, babe, you going to the games tomorrow? No! Why not? On account of I ain't the athletic type. You look like it. So, Brutus isn't going to games, huh? Perhaps something is troubling him. Let me have men about me that are fat. Sleek-headed men in such a sleep at night. Yon Cassius has a lean and hungry look. He thinks too much. Such men are dangerous. Fear him not, Caesar. He's not dangerous. He's a noble Roman, and well given. Poor Cassius. Diaper rash. Watch what his mother said. Poor Julie, little does he know what awaits him. Meanwhile, out on the porch of Cassius's house, well, 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 look who's here. Cicero and Casca, Julie's buddies. Good evening. What you shook up about? But Big Daddy, ain't you scared with your swings? Ah, gives you that good feeling. Creepy and spooky. Makes you think of Killy, maybe even Caesar, could giggle. Well, look who's coming. Lean and hungry, kind and gentle Cassius. Stop! Who goes there? A Roman! Oh, only you, Cassius, huh? Are you for Caesar, friend or foe? Not too sure. Well, get you then. You in? Yeah, I'm in. We got to deliver a message to Garcia. Hasta luego. What's this? They plan to kill Caesar? Oh, for Pete's sake. Why, someone should go to Washington about this. By who? Oh, there goes someone now. But will she make it in time? Only fate and the director know. Here we see Lucius and Brutus. Let's see what's troubling Brutus. Did you sleep good last night, honey? No, I'm sick. Well, last night I was watching TV and I saw a commercial. And do you know that Chris has been proven better by far? Oh, really? I'm sick. <laughs> If you made any sense out of this last scene, you're really doing great. Why it was put in, I'll never know. 
You see, we didn't have enough dialogue to fill the time of the film, so this is one way I can stall for more time. Isn't it clever? Look, Rudolph, we've been after you long enough, and if you ain't sure now, we'll make sure you're sure. Oh, no! Oh, no. I ain't got no cigarettes. Yeah, money, boy! Oh. <laughs> So they finally influenced Brutus to join the conspirators. Nor heaven nor earth have been at peace tonight. Three times hath Calpurnia in her sleep cried out. Help, help, they murder Caesar. No, they haven't got me yet. No, no. Oh, Caesar, please don't go to the capital. For blood's sake, don't. Cowards die many times before their death. The valiant never taste of death but once. Er, how does that go? That's Shakespeare, ain't it, Mr. Caesar? Oh, Caesar! <laughs> hey, George, get some oil over here! Time strikes seven. It's time to go to the Capitol, me lord. Make haste. Away to the Senate House. Yes, Caesar. Bah. Okay, Julie, baby, it's curtains for you because this is a curtain rod. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> Actual scenes taken by our cameraman just before he was run over. 